Hello, everybody. This is Ned from the dragondropcode.com team. And today we're going to talk about hidden memory and if statements. So I'm going to introduce this topic by building a pretty simple app, and it's going to be called Click Red. And let's check this box as always. So before we get started, what this app is going to do is that we're going to have a big button in the middle of the screen. And then when we click that button, it's going to change color. So from blue, it's going to change to red. So let's just go ahead and drag in a button and place it anywhere on the screen you want. And you could do any styling. You could just change the size a little bit. OK. Um, let's change this text to click me. And as you can see, we have a bunch of properties for the component here. So for this button, we have all these um, properties as always. And what we want to happen is that we want the code to change this color property of the button. So if we go back to our, if we go to our blocks, we can see our button is here. And then as always, we drag in an event handler. So when this button is clicked, um, we want to modify the properties of this button. So if we go in here, we can see that there is a, a function call that's called set button one's background color to a color that you want. So we're gonna drag in this thing. And what set means is that it basically means to modify something. So if we have, um, if we have a button with a bunch of properties or any component with a bunch of properties, Oftentimes, we'll have a set call for these properties that'll um, enable us to change the property. So set button one's background color to blue. And I want to make it red, so I can go into color in here, and I can drag in my red. I'm going to put it in here. So now, if we go back to our design tab, here's our app with the blue button. And it starts out blue, but if we go into preview, and we click this button, it magically turns red. So, okay, that's pretty cool. But now let's talk about this concept of hidden memory and how, it, how this all works. So as you can see, we have like a bunch of properties here for the button. And even though if I go in here and turn it to red, you can see that in the background, the initial state, it, it's still, um, the initial state of the button is still this blue background color. So these properties, they're the initial state. Um, of properties for our application. But what's actually happening, what's truly happening is that there is a hidden memory with all the properties of the application. And you can think of this like a spreadsheet and it's, it's dynamic. So it changes while we use the app. So this is what it looks like. This is the hidden memory of our application. And when it starts out, as you can see, the background color of the button is blue. But then when I go in and I do something with the blocks, like when I apply some logic with this event handler and I click the button, in the hidden memory, it'll go ahead and change this to red. So it gets updated and then this is what is shown to me on the screen. So the hidden memory is initialized as the initial memory, so the initial state of every component. And then as I do things and click on things and change things, um, the hidden memory is updated accordingly. 